Hey guys, what's up? This is Enrique, in this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create this eye-catching animation motion graphics effect, known as flabby, bouncy, wavy text animation. This effect will be accomplished effortlessly, without the need for any additional expressions or plugins. This effect is popular in motion graphics and hopefully, at the end of this video, you'll be able to apply it on your own projects. Ok, that being said, let's jump into After Effects, and let's get started, alright, I have already created a composition, and I'm using Montserrat bold font, I'm gonna create a solid which will be our background layer. I'll make a dark blue color. Then hit OK. Next, go to our text tool, and I'm gonna type, bouncy text. Scale it up a bit. And let's align it on the center. Go to text property, click, animate, then hit scale, let's rename it as scale. Open the range selector and advanced setting, under range selector, we have start setting, this setting is the starting point of the range selector, as you can see, I can move it as I change its value. We also have here, end setting, which is actually the end point of the range selector, I can also move its location by playing with its value. Now, I'm gonna set my range, inside this range, let's say I'll enclose around 4 characters. Once already set, we can now go to offset setting, which we can now use to control the location of the range. Next, drag the value of the offset setting to the left, until the range selector, move all the way to the left side of the word, so in here, we have minus 59%, then create a keyframe, move the timeline indicator to the right about a second, then change the value of the offset to 100%. As you can see, our range selector now moves from left, to the right side of the word. Inside of that range, we will apply the text bounce effect, to do that, go to scale, disable the constraint proportion, then change the value of its y axis into about 230. As you can see, the scale effect now appears on the range selection that we have created. Now, you can go to amount setting of the scale animator. We can use this setting to increase or decrease the scale effect. We can also change the animation type, based on words, which animates the range by words. Based on lines. Then based on characters, which animates the word by character, so we will pick character here. We can also select the shape of the effect, triangle, round, or square. I'm gonna select round shape. Next, change the value of the ease high and ease low into 50. This will make the upward and downward movement of the text animation smoother. Next, activate the motion blur, as shown here. The bouncy text effect looks good, but there's more we can do to make it look better. To do that, we're gonna hide first the characters on the right side, then reveal them gradually as the bounce effect moves to the right side. To do that, click Add. Selector, Range. Open Range Selector 2, and Advanced. Go to First Frame. Create keyframe of range selector 2, nothing to change because our selector is already on the first frame. Move the time indicator to the right side, about 5 frames to the left side of the last keyframes. 
then change the value of the offset into 100%. This will move the range selection to the right side of the words. Next, go to the amount setting of range selector 2, and change its value until some of the characters are already hidden. For me, it's 77%. We can also move the position of the keyframes of range selector 2, to make the animation looks better. And also it sees high and low value. Another thing we can do is easy ease all the keyframes. Next, we have one more thing to do. As you can see here, the shadows of the characters are still visible even before the animation plays. To fix that, click, Animate, then Opacity, rename the animator as Opacity, open Range Selector and Advanced, go to the first frame on the timeline, create a keyframe for the start, end, and offset setting, go to the last keyframe, and change the value of the offset into 100%. Go back to the first frame. Create a keyframe for the opacity and change its value to zero. As you can see, the shadow of the characters are no longer visible. Then go to the last frame, and change the opacity value to 100%. Alright. The text bounce effect now looks perfect. Lastly. Just move the first keyframe of the opacity into about half a second mark. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy animating.